New York Times CBS poll showing Hillary Clinton leading Donald Trump 45 to 42. Trump is within the margin of error here. To react is Steve Moore, Trump economic advisor, Fox News contributor, Julie Grace Brufke, Daily Caller, Capitol Hill reporter, and Steve Murphy, Democratic strategist. Uh, Julie, uh, as, as Blake was just saying, this map, we had to change our own electoral map. Uh, there are certain states that were leaning Republican, uh, now are Republican, and it's all going in Trump's favor. How much longer? Longer does this continue? I think it's going to continue as long as Hillary Clinton keeps having scandals come out. I mean, WikiLeaks has said that they're going to keep leaking emails until Election Day, and the FBI is set to, set to uh, release more State Department emails. And who knows what's going to be in that? She's going to need a major Trump scandal within the next few days to be able to pull ahead. You think she's got one? Uh, I think it would have already leaked if she had anything on him. I mean, Interesting. I think after that tape was released, it did major damage to him. And, I mean, we're days ahead of the election. Yeah. Early voting's in full swing. Um, I think that if there, if there was something, it'd be out okay. by now. Steve Moore, the question is how Donald Trump takes advantage of this. It's definitely going in his favor right now. I talked to some investment people who were sort of leaning, reluctant Trump supporters. They're getting to be more more supportive now, uh, partly because of the, the dislike of Hillary Clinton, but partly because of you, frankly. A lot of these investment people say, <laughs> well, at least he's got a good economic team. We don't like what he's doing on trade. We don't like some other things. He's, we don't know if he's going to push the wrong button at some point, but Steve Moore is there. Uh, he's got Wilbur Ross there and other economic... Uh, do you ever worry that once, if he becomes president, once he becomes president, he kind of gets rid of you guys, or do you think he's going to follow <laughs> through on these economic plans that no, people I... <laughs> seem to like? Oh, he's going to toss us out. No, I'm okay. <laughs> no I, look, I think he's going to do two or three things right out of the gate. Uh, we, we are going to do that tax cut, and I think we get that done, uh, David, in the first 100 days because it's not too different from the House plan. And that, you know, that's that big business tax cut that is so necessary. Obamacare, which I, that's, that was actually... By the way, the you mentioned, Steve, the first 100 yeah. days. This is yeah. critical because, as we remember, Ronald Reagan, when he took over in 1980, it was about a year and a half he went through a bad recession, partially because he delayed the tax yeah, cuts exactly. for about a year and a half, and it wasn't until they kicked in that the economy kicked up. Well put. You know, he didn't sign that tax cut until August of 1981, and it didn't take... Uh, effect until 1982. We want to get it done uh, within the first 100 days and make, make it retroactive right. to the start of the year so that you get some real juice out of the economy. Okay. The other thing, one well, just I one of the i got to let Steve Murphy in because we're, we're short Obamacare on time here. Obamacare is another one. Okay, okay. <laughs> Obamacare. We know that, uh, that uh, <laughs> we're gonna we've been hearing a lot about that and we will continue to. But Steve Murphy, I know a lot of Hillary supporters in Manhattan as well. A lot of them are investment people and they too are reluctant about Hillary for very different reasons. And their big question is, will she govern like Bill? in which case they'd be happy, or will she govern like Bernie? Which one is it going to be? She's absolutely determined not to add a penny to the deficit. Oh I God. believe she's strongly fiscal conservative. Look, let's be realistic about so, this. So hold on, let there's me just, let me just get pressure. it straight from you, Steve. You be, think that she will govern pressure. more like Bill Clinton than like Bernie uh, Sanders, correct? I, I, I do, well, I think she's going to do uh, like both of them. You can't but do in both, terms Steve. Of, yes, you can. No, in you, terms of, you can't balance she's the not, budget no, and do she's what not Bernie going Sanders to have wants to 17, do. She's not going to have $17 trillion in new spending like Bernie Sanders. That's okay. absolutely right. accurate. And the bottom line is, Julie, if, if she even came near of what Bernie Sanders wants to do, after all, he's a socialist, uh, he wants to change uh, our entire economic system from free market to socialism, uh, there's no way a, a budget would be balanced. Uh, we'd, we'd go into debt even further than we are. The, I mean, the notion that she's not going to add anything to the debt is ridiculous. And obviously she's going to pander to big banks because they're donating to her and the Clinton Foundation. It's, uh, I mean, clearly she's pandering to Wall Street. And yeah. I, I, I can't believe that she'd even make the claim that she isn't going to add well, anything Steve to the Moore, debt. Well, Steve Moore, there are promising. a lot of smart people on Wall Street that are still voting for her. Yeah, you know, there are. But look where, look where the money is coming from. Uh, but the other point I want to make very quickly. Quickly. You know, she's going to fund this by taxing the top 1%. She could take every penny from the top 1%. It's not going to That's pay right. for all the spending she wants to do. That's right. All right, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate okay. it. Melissa. Yep. All right, mainstream media bias. Donald Trump.